With the medium aircraft permit research done, we can build all of the infrastructure we would need to set up for medium jets. So we've got the medium runway, the stand, the boarding desk, the security checkpoints and the icing pad. However, that doesn't do us a whole lot of good right at the moment because we are maxed out on the number of flights we can handle. Um, Ignore Sunday, that's just because I've loaded game and it's removed every previous flight. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday all have a max of 25 flights booked already. So if I set up medium stands, there'd be no capacity to handle them. Now that we've completed the extended commercial license, however, we can build the all important air traffic control tower which is under airline infrastructure, then air traffic control tower, and we want the medium size now. So I'll place that and get it built. And as soon as that was built, my capacity jumped up to 75. I've also got night flights research now, so I can actually book things past about 8 p.m. and before about 5 a.m. So I have a lot more capacity for flights right now, despite the fact I haven't built any more pads yet. These, these ones here are all just in planning mode. They haven't been put anywhere. They haven't been built. Now, with the limit on 25 flights per day, I've been limited to about $73,000 of income, or not income so much, but profit per day. That is not terrible but it would take a very long time to build up the cash to buy a tile or to put down a medium-sized runway particularly the concrete runway if i show you here the medium concrete runway is five hundred thousand dollars now right at the moment we're on day four of year three and remember that years in this game are 12 days long that's day 40 of the game effectively it would take me another 10 days to be able to buy this tile and another six or seven to actually build a runway and so on so not counting the 500,000 I've got right at the moment it would take me well over a year in game time to actually buy the tile put down the runways and start building out this airport. It's much better for me to have 75 flights per day getting my income built up faster. So I'm going to set that up and I'll let you know how much more I'm making. Bear in mind, currently on 73,000 or thereabouts. Before I get to that, however, I just want to point out one other thing. The airline satisfaction rating that I've got here of 21%, 100, 177, 71. The reason some of these are quite low is because I haven't actually been keeping up with that airline's offerings. The ones that I've been keeping up with are happy with me, but um, this one, coast to coast, I think it is, they're quite unhappy with me because until very recently, I hadn't been actually booking their flights into my roster. By getting up to 75 flights and placing all of these and having it maxed out for a few days, I'm going to have a much higher um, overall satisfaction rating. Now that I've filled in my flight planner, you can see I'm topping out at around 50 flights per day. That's the limit I have really with eight gates these gaps here aren't big enough to fit another flight in. What I could potentially do is spread these out more so I'm making use of that time. That way any delayed flights are less likely to impact, sorry, less, are less likely to impact any subsequent flights. So at the moment, this is a half hour gap. If I stretch that out to 35 or 40 minutes, the end of night gap would get smaller and there'd be a bigger gap between that way if this flight here runs over time or doesn't leave on time 
it's not holding this one up, or it's less likely to hold up this one. Without building more stands, I'm not likely to hit 75. It could easily be done with entirely using small gates, but I want to use this now as my uh, impetus to get on to building medium stands. On a related note, I should point out this option here. I had this set to 30 minutes so that the minimum space between flights would be 30 minutes. You can drop that as low as 15, which would allow you to fit a seventh flight per day per stand. I don't like the idea of working with 15 minutes. It's going to make it too common to have one flight impacting another. 30 is a much safer value and I'm just trying to work out now what the max you can get away with is to have six flights per day. Um, I'm not going to bother restructuring my flights to achieve it, but I think it might be an hour per day because 24 hours divided by six. Yeah, that in my brain that works, but I haven't tested it in practice to be certain. Another point to note, which just dawned on me, is that I have six flights per stand per day times eight gates. Six eights are 48, so why is it saying I have 50 flights? I have absolutely no idea what's up with that. As you can see by the clock, I've just completed Tuesday, and Tuesday had 48 actual flights, even though the flight planner said 50. During that, we made a profit of $154,000, nearly $155,000. So having night flights enabled with the medium-sized air traffic control tower, I have more than doubled my daily profit. This will make getting money for tiles and future expansion much, much simpler, or much, much faster, I should say and thereby enable me to move on to building medium stands, medium runways, and all of the terminal that I'm going to require for that much sooner. Just a quick reminder, buying a tile is very simple. You just hover over the yellow sign, click on it, and click yes. As a quick side note, beware that once you've built your medium or later on large, air traffic control tower, you don't need the small one anymore. So you may as well bulldoze it so that you aren't paying for its constant upkeep. Same thing applies when you build the large one, you no longer need the medium tower, so you may as well just get rid of it so that you're not paying for its operational cost. Because why pay $20 an hour when you don't need to?